Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry and I'm the host for the High Recognize YouTube channel and today we'll, we'll not be reviewing anything hardware related and that is because we'll be taking a look at a recently released uh, software from Cyberlink. This is their latest version of UCAM which is web based software, webcam based software allows you to play with different visual effects, different video enhancements and some tools that could be utilized in a business or an office setting. So let's first take a look at the software layout, some of the features that are available, and the overall user experience that I've gotten from it. So let's dive right into it. So the layout of the software is very basic. We have our effects panel on the right. You can disattach it, you can close it, you can minimize it, you can expand it. As you can see right here, this is our very standard layout. We see the preview window here with uh, kind of like the timeline of all the images on all the videos that you've captured in the past. Two buttons for photo and video capture. And we have some settings and video enhancements. So the highlight of this program would be these effects here. We have multiple categories. Uh, first, let's start with the scenery. So basically positioning yourself into uh, multiple of scenes, as you can see here. Happy birthday, girl love birds okay so next time we have the frames different visual effects again happy birthday multiple ones and you can see they are fairly cool a lot of variety and they do provide you with a lot of default ones next we have our particles so you can set yourself a number of number of different effects you can do. Now the particles are quite cool as you see they fall down and they take some kind of a texture in the video uh, and so you can get rid of the diamonds by just brushing them off like that. Quite fun you can download uh, flower petals which is also cool. Next we have masks and they as you can see it detects your face and it puts masks on it. Uh, one thing to note is that it doesn't scale down the mask really well if you move uh, on an angle, for example, as you see here. But if you are in front of the camera, uh, just head on straight and you move your head, it's fairly it's fairly good in terms of face tracking. Sometimes the face mask would be enlarged. Uh, so to get rid of that, you just press on it, you just restart the effect and it will go back to normal. And as you can see, we have multiple effects here. All right, so let's go next into avatars. Here you see the avatar is, uh, well, it basically records where uh, your face tracking movement is, your eyebrows, your lips, and your face movement. You can create your own avatar, which is also cool. Uh, quite a realistic dog here. Next we have emotions. Bam! Uh, and one of the last ones, which is uh, probably I think would be the, the most fun feature, would be the liquify effect. Oh yeah. Wow, <laughs> this is cool. Obviously, the, as you can see, this would be a lot of fun for kids. Oh, mirror effect. Don't you just love this one? Whoa. This is very strange. So as you can see, it liquefies the image into all these fun features. And you can actually move the thing on the, on the screen. And that would uh, liquefy different areas. I really like this one. And so, the, as you can see, it works flawlessly. It works really well. Uh, we can, and there's also the last one I want to mention is the augment reality, which basically, if you have the CL, you can print it off by by yourself. Uh, or if you get the retail version, they will include this with the package, but basically it registers where this plane is, the square and the CL, and you can put a different graphic on it. And it acts, it's actually not, not, not so bad. It's lagging just a tiny bit. We have cake, flowers, we have a spaceship. And the spaceship, as you can see, it has different frames inside of it. Uh, and so you can di put different pictures on it so you can personalize it. And that is it for the visual effects. Uh, so let's first, let's go into the drawing effect, which basically gives, uh, pops up this uh, uh, different brush sizes and different colors and you can draw on the screen. We have also stamps, 
you can erase everything and you can also pop in you can put in a uh, drawing board choose the different color for drawing board uh, and you can draw on the board uh, for, with your kids or whatever so let's erase everything uh, next one is the presentations tab you can create the presentation you can import your own presentation in here and this will be very useful for business meetings for example and you can see I imported uh, a, a PowerPoint presentation inside. You can cycle through slides. You can also capture your desktop. Uh, however, capturing desktop is only available at 20, 1280 by 960 resolution. And the AVI file is gets extremely large and the quality isn't that great. Um, you also have a dual video option, which means that you can connect two video webcams and have a split screen, one showcasing one camera, one showcasing the other. All right, so taking a look at some of the utilities that are available, we have face login, which capture, which you capture an image of your face. You can either log into Windows or into multiple websites, which are the more some of the streamlined websites like Google, Amazon, uh, and uh, Facebook. And you can set the accuracy setting. And this is very useful for very quick logins and you can capture more people and that will detect them just as well. Okay, some more utilities, we have face out. This is when the camera does not detect your face in front of the screen, it will either do the following three things. It will log the screen, sleep, or hibernate. And this is a very useful thing for the office. For example, if you're going out for a lunch break and you can set the timer for up from five seconds all the way up to 60 minutes. Surveillance is one of the cool features available as well. We, have, we can do motion recording where it will detect motion on the screen. It will start recording right away. You have continuous recording. Just set the timer when it will end and you begin. Uh, and time lapse, which just basically takes a snapshot every amount of time that you specify. And you can e auto email these uh, images or these movies to you and it records a WMV file so they're quite small even after hours of recording so that would be no problem okay so another highlight of this program would be uh, downloadable effects they're just just under 200,000 uh, effects uh, available to download from direct director zone and they are free when you sign up so that's great you can browse through them and choose whatever you want choose whatever whichever you like and one more feature that available would be the video enhancements and auto lighting is actually not bad. It boosts up anything that's underexposed and leaves out all the exposed areas quite lit very well. You have true theater, theater enhancement, which you can uh, sharpen the video and brings out a lot of detail in the shot and you can reduce the noise. And that is good for webcam, especially because uh, in uh, low light conditions it has to boost up its sensitivity to light and therefore creating grainy images and noise reduction will smooth out that grain and it's very very useful for uh, dark dark situations we have also brightness contrast and exposure also available to control everything with manual with manual uh, settings and we have camera control you can do a manual focus you can do zooming in uh, panning and tilting so it's very useful now when going to the settings tab this is i want something that i need to mention because you can only record uh, with all the effects at 640 by 480 resolution or lower so if you're going to a resolution higher than that you will not be able to use any of the effects that are available in the software and that is quite okay because if you do use the effects you'll probably be uh, webcaming with some friends and uh, for software like Skype or anything that supports webcaming and 640 by 40 resolution will be adequate enough to see exactly what is going on with the effects and this is where you choose your capture device and your audio device uh, and we have some more settings of uh, choosing the capture format your capture folder how many burst shots you'd like to take when you press the photo button and the last one would be the user interface settings where you choose a skin color your language and some more options so to summarize this ucam 5 software is actually really cool it's a lot of fun it has great face tracking uh, when you're using different masks it will track down your eyes and your mouth and your nose very well it has some uh, sometimes it, the effect would not uh, work it, it would lose face tracking but restarting the effect usually resolves the problem we have tons of free effects that are available to download from the website and that is a really good feature because you can download many more the ones that you want uh, and obviously this is a lot of fun for kids and uh, for any webcam chatting uh, and some of the business utilities that are included with the software are really useful and they work flawlessly i did enjoy using them 
and some of the uh, it has great video enhancement options like all the auto lighting and some true theater enhancement and really brings out the best in the image quality and some of the more uh, cool features like face login face log out uh, surveillance and mirrors uh, is, a, is actually a good addition to the program and I did enjoy using the surveillance while I was at work I had a lot of fun with this program I would definitely recommend it probably the only disadvantage to this program would be the uh, effects usage only at 640 by 480 resolution or lower would have been nice to see these effects be included also at higher resolutions just for the fun of it now the main difference between the standard and the deluxe edition is not major the standard edition misses out on some of the features like augmented reality you cannot download any outer face features and true theater enhancement is not available uh, on the standard edition furthermore create video presentations this is where you import the powerpoint presentation is not available on the standard along with dual video input support and face out is also not available in the standard edition uh, but everything else is just like on the deluxe edition in terms of supporting all the effects and the rest of the features and that is it for this episode of hardware canucks product review please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one